Rosa Corrigan, 37, lived alone, freelance journalist. Who found her? A neighbor. When she didn't answer the door, he went around the side. The glass was smashed. So burglary gone wrong? Yeah, maybe. She's still got all her jewelry, and the laptop and the TV are still here, and all her awards. For what? Journalism? Paso Doble. I saw her last night. She was at the opening gala for some ballroom dance contest. She wasn't competing. I wonder why. Didn't think glitz and glamour were your thing, sir. They're not. Okay. Yeah. Lace. Tulle. Good for ball gowns. Hmm. You're the expert. Of course. Got several hanging in my wardrobe. Really? I ran them up myself. Nothing I like better. You know, in between cooking, cleaning, and conforming to gender stereotypes. Sorry. And that's what killed her? Looks like it. I'll know more when I get back to the lab. She put up quite a fight. Anything under her fingernails? You mean some nice DNA traces? A man can hope. When I get back to the lab. Thanks. Sir. How about a time of death? I'd say not earlier than 11 last night. Not later than 3 this morning, but I'll know more when I get When back. you get back to the lab, I know. Which do you want? You can have it quick, or you can have it right. How about both? It wasn't a break-in. See where the cat came in? It rained last night, and the lawn's been freshly mowed. No footprints. And the other doors and windows? No sign of forced entry. I'd say whoever it was came in through the front door. So they either had keys or they were let in. Afterwards, they broke the glass and tried to fake a burglary. Whichever way, Rosa Corrigan almost certainly knew her killer. 